Welcome back to Local 5 Live. Do you love French toast but hate not being able to enjoy the rest of it with, uh, enjoy the rest of your time with your family? Yeah, well today our Festival Mealtime mentors introduce us to a make-ahead French toast casserole with all the holiday flavors. Hey there, and welcome back to our kitchen. I'm Casey, and this is Lauren, and we're two of Festival's Mealtime Mentors. Today we're making a delicious breakfast casserole that's perfect for holiday mornings. It's really perfect for any morning, I definitely. think. Definitely. But definitely in the fall or for the holidays. Today we're making pumpkin French toast casserole. Oh my gosh, this is such a good recipe. So good, it smells amazing, and it's really not that complicated either. No, it's not. So to get started, uh, we're gonna make our streusel that's gonna go on top of that casserole. So in this bowl, I'm going to mix some chopped pecans, brown sugar, pepitas, and you can find pepitas in the bulk bins in our natural organic department. Those are pumpkin seeds. Yes, cinnamon, and some cold butter that we've kind of sliced up here. And I'm just gonna start working this together with a fork um, to try to get those nice coarse crumbs then that we're gonna sprinkle on top of the casserole. Yes, no casserole is complete without a strudel. No. That's for sure. All right, so next up we're going to get working on our wet ingredients. So first we have eggs that we've just whisked together. Of course we need eggs for French toast. Mm -hmm. Then we've got some sugar, a little bit of salt, vanilla, nutmeg, cloves, and quite a bit of cinnamon. And with this recipe, you can always adjust the spices to your liking. Um, when we first made this recipe, we didn't feel like it had enough of those great fall flavors. So we upped the spices a little bit, but feel free to play around with them to your liking. And then we're using an entire can of pumpkin. So this is just pumpkin puree, not pumpkin pie filling. And I love that this recipe uses an entire can. Yes, it's so nice to not have to worry about leftovers. Of course, there's lots of things that you can do with leftover pumpkin, um, but it's also nice to just kind of get it all taken care of in one fell yes. swoop, too. And the reason for that is because this recipe feeds a crowd. So Yes, this makes so much. We're using a whole can of pumpkin. Um, and we end up using two loaves of bread as well, so it's easy to have it if you don't want that much, but it's also really good as leftovers. So Good as leftovers, great if you're entertaining a bunch of guests at your home, whether that's for the holidays um, or just for a brunch. Yes. It's nice because it will feed everybody. And who doesn't love pumpkin French toast? Oh my gosh, casserole? nobody. All right, so while Lauren's working on that then, I've made a huge mess over here with our streusel, but I think it'll still taste okay. Um, yes, um, Move some of this out of the way. I'm going to get going with cubing some of our bread that we're gonna put um, in our casserole. So we already have one of the loaves uh, cut. So I'm just gonna cut this into cubes. And today we're using our chunky cinnamon bread from our bakery, which is- So good. Oh my gosh, this so is good. so good in this casserole. It's also really good on its own. So if you buy extra, I don't think you'll regret it. Um, yeah, because it's amazing. So this is what we're gonna use for our casserole today, but you could definitely use whatever kind of bread you would like. Yeah. If you want, just like a plain French bread. Um, really any kind of bread that is going to be nice and thick and like crusty, so it can really hold that really good pumpkin uh, filling that we're making over here. Yes, yeah. so the reason we're using this huge bowl is because like we said, this recipe feeds a crowd. We have two loaves of this um, chunky cinnamon grub going into our casserole. So this is one loaf that's what we've already cubed up. And I'm going to start mixing this with our wet filling. And the goal with mixing this and why you need such a large bowl <laughs> um, is that you want to try to make sure that all of the little bread pieces get coated with our pumpkin um, wet mixture. Right, because nobody wants to take that sad piece. It's really great bread on its own, like we were saying, but you want every piece to be nice and coated with that filling. Yes, and there's there's more than enough of the filling to coat all the bread, so that is not a problem. Right. All right, I got some for you. And right. um, the way that Lauren's doing this is really the best way to mix these together because you want to add the bread gradually so that you're not kind of like overwhelming all of that filling at once. Um, yes, makes it a little bit easier to mix together. And this is a great um, opportunity to get the kids in the kitchen. You can trade oh, yeah. off mixing because you do have to mix quite a bit. All right, my arm is tired. I can, you did a really good job with that. <laughs> but it is all mixed together yes. and there will be no sad pieces. Yes, which is. Hand this to you. We'll get this in our pan here. 
So we're using a 9 by 13. Um, I like this recipe a lot because I think at the beginning of it, I'm always like a doubter. Like I don't think it's all going to fit in this pan, but it does. Look at that. All right, so we'll spread this out a little bit and then we can't forget about our streusel that we made. So normally um, when you make this streusel, you'll want to refrigerate it for about 30 minutes or really however long it takes for you to make the rest of it. We're not doing that today and it's going to turn out just fine, but the refrigerating um, just kind of helps it to uh, really form those crumbs a little bit better. All right, got that nice I and spread out. I love the cojitas in here. It just brings us to a whole yes. new gourmet level. It does. So we have our oven preheating 350. Casey's putting it in the oven for about 40 to 45 minutes. Another thing you could do is you could stop at the step that we just finished at and pop that in the refrigerator and then even wait until the next morning to cook it, which is really nice if you want to prep it ahead of time um, and then just cook it the next morning, make your house smell really good, and then everybody enjoys some warm French toast casserole. Yes. Here's our finished product. We made one earlier. That looks so good. So let's give this a try. Cut up some. Ooh. Oh my gosh. So I love you can dense. hear like the crispiness on top from that streusel. Yes. To me, that's what makes a really good French toast or really any kind of like breakfasty casserole. Yes, for sure. Oh my gosh, it just smells so good. So you can that serve this with a maple syrup. You. Yes. But it's not necessary. No, it's not. It's very sweet on its own, but we're certainly not going to stand in your way if you want to add that. Yes, it's so, so good. Mm -hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. With a cup of coffee, I am in heaven. This is perfect. Like you said, I could eat this any time of the year, but also any time of the day. Yes. I would eat this for dinner. Very, very filling. We know mm -hmm. all your guests are going to love it. Start your day the pumpkin way with this delicious casserole. And to get this recipe on your phone, text FRENCH to 78402. And for more holiday recipe ideas, visit bestfoods.com seasons.